Oh, what is the week? It's week six. Wait, hold on. What? Oh, week 17. It's week 17. Week 17? Yeah. Cause that's this is supposed to be the end point of the, of the football season, bro. Nah, yeah. I ain't fucking with this uh, 18 week season, bro. I ain't fucking with it, bro. Really? Yeah. Hey, bro, I'm trying to. Um, you don't like it? Green nah, screen. not you know really. Because, like, the extra game shit kind of fuck huh? me up. But plus, you like, the injuries going on because moving. these guys are literally playing. Like, yeah, uh, extra game. So, like, especially with what's going on with Tampa Bay right now, they got injuries going on. So it's just like. It kind of it kind of fucks you up. We got one extra game on the schedule. It's too much football. Like it's not wrong with too much football, but you already got NFL and college football. What more football do you need? Nah, but you know what it is though, right? Uh, these motherfuckers want their money's worth. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. That's the only reason why they did extra game to get more money out of it. Yeah, and we're really still talking about adding two more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all know Especially what Roger Goodell, bro. Roger Goodell just showed us it's about the money. It's not about the play. It's just about the money. Hell yeah. Yeah, here's Russell was like, they'll get paid more. Exactly. They'll add an he, extra um, couple dollars or something like that. Mm-hmm. He told the owners, you get this little extra little pinch. He took that Yeah, extra- not really looking at, like, like, yeah, that's an extra game. Like, a lot of people don't look at, like, I see where the NFL players coming from. Cause we all used to play football. I, that's why I was like, I, I don't really fuck with the extra game shit. Like that shit can it can fuck your body up. Some of these things ain't gonna last long in the league, bro. Play, like especially like while old heads with Brady, um, and Rogers and some young niggas like Derrick Henry. Brady, Derrick Henry right. not gonna last long. Oh, that like, thing. Like, yeah, when we were like, playing high school ball, when we got the foul game, my body was like wear it out. So I can't imagine how they doing like uh, right, 16, like, 17 games. Like, with the extra game, shit, like, bro. That shit be some bullshit for real. Like I ain't gonna lie to you, man. That shit, that shit do take a toll on your body. It yeah. does, bro. Especially like you're gonna get hurt. A lot, a lot of niggas cap it when they say they ain't get hurt at all in in the football season. Cause at some point your ass did, and that shit. And that shit, you just had to deal with that shit throughout the season. It wasn't impactful to where you had to go to the hospital, but I mean, like, you had to deal with that shit to the end of the season because it was not going to recover. Like, no, it's like when you play the game of football, bro, any little thing that that happens to you, bro, you're going to deal with it until the season's over with. And then a couple months afterward, because now your body has to rest and heal it. Yeah. yeah. I used to stay good like at you, bro. My I got hit right in the nose. My shit hurt. Fucking my injuries. So I my ankle, bro. I had to play with it. Uh, I had to take my ankle up for every fucking game because my ankle hurt it every single game. And I was lipping every single day out the week. Like, until, like, the season was over with. Like, no shit, bro. Like, all my years of high school football, bro. I got injured every goddamn season, bro. Have to be something I get into that fucking my first injury about my damn back bit something popped in my back that bit that bit had me on the ground shit Frank was still a bit <laughs> that back spasm that I'll never forget that <laughs> like you do a whole dance move on the floor fuck <laughs> everybody was trying not to laugh like <laughs> bro that shit hurt I'm I'm sure that bitch hurt but... yeah fuck on. Um, 10th grade, yeah. Messed up my ankle. This nigga missed the field goal. This t- <laughs> messed up my ankle and messed up my ribs, bit. Yeah. Fucking 11th grade, yeah, bit. I was just all fucked up my 11th grade, yeah. Came back, bit, put my hand straight up. I'm done. Calling crits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy, I, I fucked my ankle up landing on it in basketball. So I wasn't even football that fucked my ankle up. Yeah. Mm. Bro, I always fucked my ankle up in football, bro. I ain't never had an ankle injury. But I had like two ankle really? injuries in like in a two week span. I had so many ankle injuries, bro. It, I, bro, on the count of my hand, bro. Like on count of two hands, that's how many injuries I had. The only injury I had was uh, finger injuries in my knee. And that's it. That makes sense. Bro, had two ankle injuries like in a two week span, bro. On like both ankles, bro. 
You know how difficult I've been there trying to play running back, bro, with like two fucked up ankles, bro? Hmm. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Hold on, we yeah. still live? Yeah, we live. Okay, I need to do that. Yeah, we've been live. I'm mean, sure we could be, this could be part of the podcast, too. Yeah. We don't even have to cut that part yeah, out. Yeah, we've been live for five minutes, my nigga. <laughs> 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 See, I want the link, Bill. Y'all here? Let's kick it off. All right, y'all want to take it off? All right, bet, bet. Hey. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, at Retire After Podcast. So today, we're going to go ahead and get started with the first topic of the day. Are the Cowboys the favorites to make it out of the NFC? Frank, what you think? No. No, the Cowboys are not the favorites. I mean, they're looking like some goons right now. You know, they what, they scored 56 points on the te- football team. Like... I mean, they, I can see them going to the the divisional round. They'll lose to like a, a Tampa Bay or a uh, uh, a Green Bay in the divisional round, but I can't see them going further than that. Like they they just just feast on these small teams. But in the playoffs, the Cowboys will will um will lose in the divisional round. They'll win a wild card a wild card game, and their fans will go crazy and stuff. But like when when they get like a little too a little too serious, a little too tight, they I, I can see them losing in the um. The division round. The take. Hmm. So, um, favorites? Nah, I see them like probably like top three. Uh, their defense has been pretty lethal. Um, their offense can, uh, damn, the offense can really lose them a game, bro. Like, uh, if offense isn't cranking up, um. They could they could really lose a playoff game like not scoring at all. So nah, not a top contender to me. Yeah, that is true because was on uh, Himari Cooper were mad about that. He felt mm-hmm. like the offense were like doing trash and stuff yeah. while the defense like balling out. Yeah, yeah. that can't be a big problem, bro. Especially with the Cowboys, bro. Like they should like. Y'all first time going back to the playoffs since when? Twenty. I think it was like twenty what seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Might have been twenty seventeen. Well, one of twenty eight. One and it hasn't been that long. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's only been a couple of years. Cause that like uh, I think they went what twenty six or some something like that. Did they go in twenty nineteen? Did he go 2019? No. Nah, nah, nah. Did he go 2019? Nah, bro. Because I know that was her in 2020. Nah. And then, I feel nah. like they went, okay. They probably went. It was 20, It was 2018. He probably went 8 and 8. But, uh, nah. <laughs> oh, damn. Because I need to look that stuff up because. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, I don't remember them going. 2018. Cowboys last playoff game was 2018. They lost to the Rams. Of course. In the divisional round. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> no, that's the year the Rams with the Super Bowl. Oh. Mm-hmm. But it been like three years, maybe. Well, going on four, I, I guess. 2022. But it been a good couple of years having have played in the playoffs. But I uh, don't oh, know, man. They had the good days. They had the bad days. I guess in the playoffs, you, you, you just don't know. But uh, uh-huh. they're not the favorites. But I do want to see a rematch game, bro. The Cowboys versus the Bucks, bro. I want to see a rematch. That'd be a good game, though. I want to see it again. That would. That'd be a good game. <laughs> so what about you, Lewis? Yeah. Man, well, I think. Give. Uh, no, I don't think the Cowboys are the favorites because their offense has been looking empty a couple of weeks. Why? On the other side of that ball, that defense been turning it up or not. So, so on the way the Cowboys gonna make it out of the NFC as the NFC champions is if they have a balance. Just because they dropped fifty six off on Washington, that don't really mean that. That's Washington. I mean, you you're not you're not gonna see them drop fifty six on the Green Bay Packers or the LA Rams to Bay Bucks. Like that's just Washington, you know, and um. Dak has been looking iffy on throws, receivers. Like, I mean, like, he's got the weapons, but, like, it's just, like, I don't think, like, when you go against teams, like, that are stacked defensively, like, 
the Rams, the Packers, and the Bucks. Teams that stack defensively. Even 49ers Cardinals, bro. I don't think like you're gonna make that because those are top defenses coming out of the NFC. And if you don't play like that, how you did last night, come into like down the stretch and into the playoffs, you're not gonna make out the NFC. You might you might make it no more than division around. That's about it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I can't see as of right now though, I definitely can't see them beating the Rams. Most definitely I don't know if they can beat the Rams. Just defensively, because they, their defense, like, I'm not saying their defense is better than the Cowboys, but I mean, their defense is pretty, pretty good, especially if they go and play in L.A. with it against uh, the Cowboys. Hold on. So, it's a comment, right? <sighs> right. He say, do y'all feel the Bucks should have beat the Saints? It's a live stream comment. Wait, type that. Do we feel... Uh, I feel like, yes, I do feel like the Bucks should have beat the Saints. So I mean, like, my problem was, my my thing was the Cowboys, I mean, the uh, Saints, they knew, they knew all our past players, bro. Like, come on, we're division, we're division rivals. They know what we want to do. And that just sit there, air the ball, air the ball all game. And I feel like the only reason we lost is because of culture. It's not because of, you know, Players make a mistake. It has a lot to do with players make a mistake, yes. But a lot of that has to do with culture. Like, that's the game Bruce Aaron should have been like, hey, we're going to pass the ball probably 20 times, and we're probably going to run the ball 30 times. I feel like the Saints can't stop the run. So we're going to go ahead and attack them with the run and see what their defense is going to do and open up the pass that way. But I feel like the Bucks should have had lost it. It's just really, it's really all culture. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna agree on that. Um, in the last podcast, it's just a missing episode. Uh, we did. We were talking about like how Ronald Jones got hot, and then for some reason they stopped giving him the ball. And they said Ronald Jones like did it yesterday in that Carolina game. The Bucks def- definitely would have won. And if Godwin and Evans was healthy, they would have. They would have at least put up 20, 21 points or something like that. Mm-hmm. Said twenty one points. Uh, 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 <laughs> hey, y'all should have beat them. <laughs> Yo, should have beat them. <laughs> like y'all had everything yeah, going on oh, paper, bro. Y'all put some in on paper, bro. Let's see. But I don't know what happened. I thought y'all about have a feel that we taste a hill at QB. But I don't know, bro. Y'all lost by fair goals, bro. Nigga. They did not. <laughs> yeah, that defense Dang. had him on long. <laughs> that. that shit was crazy. These niggas kicked three that field goals to beat y'all. Oh, bro, <laughs> it was not like they scored a touchdown and kicked a field goal. These bitches scored off of three field goals. <laughs> that hey. means they only marched down there into our territory three times a fucking score of fucking three points on three the cases three three and three three six nine fuck the sake man <laughs> God, yeah, fuck it, you, bro. we know they, they you know they were targeting our players too you seen that for net play with the, um the, when they twisted his ankle yeah oh yeah yeah they're were, they're were playing dirty bro all right y'all can't tell they can't tell me otherwise Hey, yo. I fucking hate to say that's why they make the playoffs and they see us in the playoffs. They know they're not gonna beat us. Shoot, I want, I want them, winners, man. I want them to make the playoffs this year because, like, I just actually want revenge against them. You feel I me? I want their head. They can still make you it. Feel yeah. me, you feel me, Frank? <laughs> I just want to take them out. <laughs> I just want to take their ass right out the playoffs again, bro. To prove a fucking point. <laughs> and there's a, there's a couple of Saints fans in Tampa, bro. They, every time they beat us, they be talking shit. Oh, yeah, you already know it. We got New Orleans fans that stay in Tampa, bro. Get your ass out of here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, hey, we're going to go ahead and move into our next topic, man. We're going to go ahead and um, who can take the seventh seed in the NFC and AFC? Zo, who do you think? Oh, we um. Who's, who's in the hunt? Because I know, I know I, got, I got Steelers for AFC. Oh, uh, um, hold on, let me send it to y'all. Which which, which conference you um looking for, AFC or NFC? Because uh, I'm already NFC. looking at it. NFC. NFC, the Saints, Vikings, Falcons, 
football team are all still in the hunt. All right, so I see Vikings and uh, Steelers making it. I'm trying putting us out the chat. Trying to squeeze in. Okay. Then the Steelers got. I just, I'm just looking at the AFC. I didn't know Steelers was that that hard of a road to make it to the um, seventh seed. Yeah. We could easily still take that though. We could take that. Yeah. Yeah, the Ravens. Like, if Lamar gonna be hurt all this time, then the Ravens are definitely dropping. The Ravens out. not going to the playoffs, and Lamar is gonna be hurt for the rest of the season. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, I feel like no, the only thing I make is Lamar. Damn, the Patriots dropped all the way to 16? That they were just at first or something. Yeah, they... At 94, 99, and 6. Yeah, LC is just like... I feel like everybody should be beating up everybody. Yeah, they beating on each other, man. I can see... Um, I'll say the Chargers would get the 7th seed and, uh, under LC. And then in the NFC, like, um, like you said, the Vikings. Because the Vikings have been playing... These oh yeah, I don't, they they only been like um, they only lost by seven almost like every game or something like that. Yeah, but I, will, I want to say, but personally, I want to say, I think it was against the Cowboys. That's the only game they got blown out in. Oh yeah, everybody else they at least been <clears> like seven or that. Nah, now nah, I got the question though. Yeah. What's up? Nah. If the Ravens don't make it, will y'all be surprised? It didn't like it did not make it. Yeah, no, because they got thirty eight players injured. Yeah, that that injured reserve. <laughs> yeah, long. I definitely would be surprised. Nah, we'll be surprised if the LA Chargers don't make it. Yeah, oh. I would be surprised if the Chargers don't make it because I mean they started the season high and now they eight and seven. Now the thing about they're just that, so inconsistent. God damn! How many times? Exactly, they're not consistent at all. They're not consistent with winning. How many times the Chargers and the Raiders played this season? I only, I think they only played once, and the Chargers won. Only played once. Well, I think they played each other. I don't know if they playing this week, but if they don't play this week, they playing almost uh, definitely week uh, the last week of the season. But shit, that, that game might determine that last spot though, depending on how. Everybody else play on the ALC because like the ALC is very very tight. Like the best record in the ALC right now is literally the Chiefs at eleven and four. I don't think like regardless of what happens to the Chiefs, they make it to the playoffs. And Tennessee at ten and five, regardless of what happened with now, I think they still make it. But it's everybody that's nine and six and below because you got records from nine and six to seven and eight that still have a chance to make the playoffs. Hmm. What about you, Darius? Did you um? Oh, put my own yeah. teams on. Um, yeah. Put it like this, man. For AFC, it like a. I want to see like damn. First me, I think the Chargers are gonna make it. You feel me? Yeah. But sometimes they do slip up and lose some games. Well, shit, yeah. like fucking what to that Monday? Like yesterday, got the air blowing out, but. Who they got beat the by? Texas. Texas. They got blown out by the Texans. I was about to God. say Jets. That's how trash the team uh. is. <laughs> they got blown out by the Texans, my boy. It how just... that happened? <laughs> oh, no, bro. Patty Mills put in that work. My oh, boy, whoever. David Mills looking like David the best Mills, rookie running back in the NFL. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the Ravens, I oh, don't know, man. It's just like a three ray top because to be honest, I won't be surprised if Raiders do like an upset on they on um Chargers, bro. I won't be surprised. Hold on, did the Browns get eliminated? The Browns, um, this yeah, they seven and eight right now. They can't be. I know they beat us. No, no they seven and eight. They seven and eight. They ran like a couple more games, but I thought the Broncos have more wins. Wins, yeah, they're seven and eight too. But I'm going Broncos? with the yeah. yeah. But I'm going with the Chargers for AFC. Going with the Chargers. Um, NFC. Let me see. Let me see who is in the up. NFC. NFC. Uh. Hmm. I'm going with Philly. Ooh. I'm going with Philly. Damn, Darius. Fuck you. What? So Philly's <laughs> taking that seven spot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
his house and say Philly. <laughs> Come with Philly, bro. <laughs> Yeah, bro, going with Philly. Hey, no. We won't see the Saints okay, making it. Um, the Vikings need to win some games. Yeah, going with Philly, bro. And I'm highly surprised that Atlanta is seven and eight, bro. I'm I'm surprised by that. That'd be crazy. Oh, the Falcons. Bro. Wait, I'm just not looking at that. They is seven and eight. Oh my God. I ain't gonna cap, bro. Atlanta's the most improved team. Yo, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I don't think Matt Ryan is trash. I just think he got a trash team around him. That's my. You saying here, saying here, saying here, because like he been balling, bro. Like yeah, it's he just did the team around him trash. And if and, and ain't gonna cap, if Calvin Ridley was not dealing with his mental issue, I, I, they probably wouldn't be no seven to eight. Probably be eight and seven. Eight and seven, yeah. Probably, probably. It'll be just flip. It'll be flip. <laughs> just but, get I mean, one game. I'm going to go ahead and pick my teams. As much as not going to happen, because I really want the Bucks to beat the shit out of them. Yeah. It ain't going to happen. I was going to say New Orleans, but I'm going to have to agree with Darius. Um, I, I see Philly making it. Philly has, like, bro, if you ask me, Philly been shocking everybody. At one point, I think Philly was like, what? Two and six, now all of a sudden they're eight and seven. So they so they went out, they won six out of their last couple games. And a lot of people didn't believe in Jalen Hurts, they didn't believe in his ability. They didn't think he was a franchise quarterback. They didn't even think he could lead a team the way he's doing right now. So I, that's all like that's a problem back to to that boy Jalen. I, I want to see him make the playoffs, bro. I think he's the right fit for Philly. Especially with the new head coach. Hey okay, dude it was funny as fuck. I probably tore his ass. That's why I don't think none of them players take him serious, but they respect what he's doing because they are eight to seven on the record. So I have to go Eagles coming out of the NFC, get, get in the last spot. As far as AFC, woo. Hey, I'm I got I got Dolphins. Damn, I, they, I, they is hot. Yep, Dolphins won six straight games. And they play it tonight in New Orleans. And I, I, I think I picked them for the upset. Mm. And uh, just but like just same as same as Philly, Tua to attacking for lower, bro. And nobody believe in Tua. They thinking, oh, this, this is it. He will what it done. He might be a bust. Might be going to need a job for new quarterback. Or oh, they should just trade Tua for Deshaun Watson. What Tua did was shut everybody the fuck up. Mm-hmm. He shut everybody the fuck up. They are seven and seven right now. Tua Tagovailoa. That boy Tua, bro. What you don't understand, is Tua, but like Tua is like another version of Russell Wilson. Got nothing but doubters in his fucking face. All they doing is talking shit. But what he gonna do? He don't say nothing. He gonna come out there and ball your team up on Sunday and get the dub and go home about it. I definitely see Miami making the playoffs and and, and, and tonight. I, and tonight I see him beating the um beating the Saints and getting that dub. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna watch the Miami Dolphins closely tonight because I don't think I, I watched them play. The, oh wait, I seen them play against Tampa Bay, but like I, I can't count that. In the chat, <laughs> he said he hope the Dolphins beat the Saints' ass. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> it could happen. It would be like a defensive game. I like it to be. I actually like Tua to, to, to snap. Because the Dolphins do get a good ass defense. The Saints? Oh, and the Dolphins. Oh, the Dolphins, yeah. Yeah. Saints defense not that bad either. Yeah, they, they, they mediocre. When they want to be. Yeah, when they want to be good, they're good. When they I feel mean, like just, just make it playoff time. They suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's the next topic? Next topic. Jimmy G. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Jimmy G. Go ahead, Los. Let's go ahead and get into our next topic. We should go ahead. Is this Jimmy G last hope to get 49ers in the playoffs with three games up? Or really two games up? Two games. Is this his last hope at 8-7? Um, I'm going to speak on it. 
I'm gonna speak on it. Yep, I think I think this right here, the last two games will determine is if he's the future of San Francisco or is is he's gonna be leaving in the off season because um because um right, I'm about to roll my windows up. Ah, uh, my bad. Oh, okay, so yeah. So the reason why I say that is because um with two games left. Jimmy, he had to look impressive. Cause I think San Fran went on like a four game winning streak after starting. Um, I believe it was like two and four or something like that. Two and it's two and something, two and five. And at one point it was eight and six, and they just lost, which to drop from eight and seven, which is not wrong with that they played against a good Tennessee team like that. Oh, but these last two games, I think they got to play the LA Rams, and they had to play somebody else. And I feel like those two games is really going to determine if they make the playoffs or not. If they lose one of those games, I don't think San Francisco gonna make it. So Jimmy G has to do a much better job with controlling the game and keeping consistency on offense. Man. Because it, with no consistency, I don't think San Francisco gonna gonna be in the playoffs. But go ahead, we go ahead and turn it over to our all time number one overall San Francisco fan himself. Yeah. Look here, man. Look here. Look here. You have no hope no more, bro. His hope is gone right now because you know why? This man did fracture his finger, bro. Breaking news. He fractured his <laughs> finger. He had tripped a bone, a bone, and tore a ligament. Nah, ain't no more hope for Jimmy. No, I said in the in the first couple episodes of of this amazing podcast, you feel me? I see like a Alex Smith and Colin Kaepernick thing, and I predicted Jimmy gonna get injured. They train legs gonna come out, ball out. They be gonna face the Bucks in the playoffs. You feel me? The way it's looking, I, I, I speak thing to existence, bro. How it looking right now? Nah, if Jimmy never got injured, he would have some hope. The bush ass game he put against Tennessee. Oh my gosh. Even John Lynch was mad at himself. <laughs> my boy be treated a <laughs> treat, but should have left that man to Tennessee. But yeah, he liked. Yeah, he <laughs> liked did like the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> he liked that bit, but uh, instead of the after that. <laughs> Come on now, no way that could have been asking it. You had to, <laughs> you had to look at your phone and tap on the icon, bro. It no way that was asking it, bro. That was no fucking accident, bro. <laughs> it was no accident, bro. That was all shit. Hold up, we gotta follow Jimmy. Time out. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, shit. You never got into with that hope. <laughs> but now, shit, he better hope Trey Lance don't ball out. That's the hope he yeah, got Trey, right now. Trey ball Jimmy most definitely out of there. He better no hope that. Trey don't ball out. That's the hope we need to have right now. I hope so, bro. I pray, I pray Trey Lance get a shot, bro. I mean, like, cause like he's a fan favorite. Everybody knows Jimmy G knows too. Trey come out there and ball and get them boys a dub. Like say say uh Jimmy G cannot play this Sunday, so therefore Trey, play, Trey plays and he balls out and San Francisco wins. Yeah. It's over with for Jimmy. I don't think Jimmy's gonna ever see see it down again for San Francisco. Damn. I'm, I look at the contract this way. He still got one more year left for y'all though. Um, there is. So I guess you mean like will he get traded? Yeah. If if Trey Lance start balling out, Jimmy G probably gonna get traded. Jimmy G, um, I feel like I feel like if we do trade Jimmy, which team wanna like that one question right there? Like, what team is gonna want him? Yeah, the fucking Steelers. Yeah, but they got like, right, yeah, big ben. but big look, ben they got be like Dwayne Haskins nice. and like Mason Rudolph. Nah, yeah, I, but, I see. But I see the Steelers want to do G over them too. This Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh 
might be drafting a quarterback this year. This, well, this draft coming up, they might get a quarterback. Yeah, I heard. I seen in one of the reports that uh, a bit Ben go, even a bit Ben doesn't go. They they looking at looking to get a replacement <clears throat> out of the uh twenty twenty two draft. But then, but like, if you trade for him, what we gonna get back? Like, who we gonna he get? Got- like, what? <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna slip up. I, don't I, think, I think somebody will give y'all a second or third. I'm gonna do Wayne Haskins. Get Haskins <laughs> hey, put it like this. <laughs> <laughs> we Ohio boys, you feel me? <laughs> but hey, my nigga, you're not getting a chance over here. <laughs> No, they gonna get a dance over in the Bay Area. We got Trey, huh? Yeah, I feel like I promise if Trey ever get, get injured, <laughs> Trey would get injured and has to come in and just like mess up, bro. That would like end the like the relationship between the Haskins and the Ohio State Bucket us. Nah, you right. You right. I'm gonna right. disclaim him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Nick Bosa for the disclaimer. Nah, but who 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 y'all really gonna gonna get? Like y'all probably gonna trade him for like a draft pick, probably like a third round. Or I'm shit. assuming, yeah. it maybe a draft pick, a old lineman, or maybe aim for a running back. That the type of thing if he like over here. But well, the Broncos might snatch him too. True, true, true. But we might aim for like a draft pick at the most part. Cause oh, boy, the- Teddy is injury prone. Oh, the line man. Hey, who the who the guy the running back? What team? On oh, Broncos. Broncos got that old oh boy Javante Williams. Say so you might aim for the running back. Who knows? Because we the only team I know who like run through running backs and put wide receivers at running backs, bro. I said. Damn. Wait, how about that that one dude? What's his name? Elijah Mitchell or something like that? Oh, he, wasn't he bowling for y'all? Yeah, but he got injured. Oh. Yeah. A lot of niggas got injured. Yeah, Andrew Mitchell, bro. Y'all is the only team not named Atlanta Falcons that put their receiver at running back, and he still go out there and score like ain't shit. Let's go. Touch hey, the- Debo is, why, is Debo. Is Debo. Like, Debo hey, okay, this is off topic a little bit, but Debo is one of my favorite players in that round <laughs> I think hey, it's not because of the damn fantasy, bro. This man do be giving me like 20 points a game every day on fantasy game, but like, He's so versatile, bro. It's like you can't, you can't really, you can't really stop Debo. You can't, you can't man. Stop him. Hey, Brandon, this all. T- 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 my, hey, there is uh, your phone nine is helping my fantasy team too. Like Brandon, uh, you got me like four points. Or something like nigga. That. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 ain't no cat though. We, I'm Debo in the playoffs right now. He coming in last week, bro. Debo just got me twenty eight points last week. Uh, last week. <laughs> Debo, bro, I was so happy, bro, because I ain't see that shit in a couple weeks. Cause I keep freaking running him at running back, bro. I'm like, bro, put this man, man, let this man do what he do every receiver. Can't nobody guard this dude. Bro, this man played both, bro, in the same thing, in the same game, bro. That's crazy. Played both positions in the same game. That is crazy. I think they broke a record. Um. Uh, he got like the most rushing touchdowns by a wide receiver. Or something. Wide receiver in five game stretch. Yeah. Yeah, he did. I think he scored seven touchdowns in five games. Yeah. Yeah, the man the beast, bro. I've been watching Debo since he was at South Carolina, bro. I knew it was gonna be a problem no matter what what team he played for. Debo mm-hmm. was a problem, bro. Like uh, that boy Debo. <laughs> But um, how you feel about the um, Zoe? Uh, as far as the Jimmy G, Jimmy, I mean, cause I I feel like the hate already there, and it's already people wanting him out. <laughs> so I feel like he probably, you know, uh, as far as like, is this his last hope? Um, he's not coming back for the season, right? Like, well, we don't know. Ah, uh, all right. So it's pretty tough to say right now. Um, if anything, bro, like if he don't if he don't play for the rest of this season, um, they're gonna be looking to trade him next season. So, yeah, this is the the last hope. That's it. Frank, I mean, I feel like they're gonna move on regardless because history says like um, you draft a quarterback first round, they're gonna get on the field 
every t- every it's, it's like that every single time. From what I think. Mm-hmm. I do Trey Lance. I do feel like Trey Lance gonna ball out though. Yeah. Cause so. everybody like Trey Lance on the team. Like they like him. Fucking, you know when George Kittle say something, big, you know you like him, big. Oh yeah. That the people tied in right there. It's time to shine. And the first game on Trey Lance played, big, he gave on Kittle hundred yards. And that would get the Cardinals, big, like the hyped up momentum Cardinals bit, had that. But we see. Talking about Cardinals, they on like a three game losing streak. They, look, they can't finish. Yeah, that's what it's starting to look like. Uh, and they lost to the Lions. But yeah, look, go ahead. Now, as I take it all on Jimmy G, you guys let us know in the comments. If y'all think this is his last shot, let us know. With two games left and a playoffs approaching. Do you think he could get the San Francisco Niners in there, or do you think he not? Let us know. So if we go ahead and get to our next topic, is Odell Beckham Jr. back? Is OBJ back? So He never left. <laughs> you feel never, me? My dog never left. What you talking about? You feel about? me? <laughs> Man, like, that's why I said it, it's obvious. The difference between the two quarterbacks, Baker and and Matt Stafford, bro. He gonna get his he gonna get his key players the ball, and you see what happened when my boy OBJ touched the ball, man. You see what happens, dog. Dubs and Tutties. You feel me? So to answer your question, OBJ never left. It just took a dope quarterback to get him the ball. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and agree with you, um, Zoe. I mean, there's a whole there's a whole 10 minute film highlight of OBJ getting it open on YouTube and Baker Mayfield not hitting him, and it, and then like <laughs> like he he never left. It's just like he wasn't getting the ball. Yeah. And then Brown fans had the nerves to say like you know Baker Mayfield pay, played better while OBJ. I mean like yesterday um, Baker threw like four interceptions and like right now. Oh, not to cut you off, Frank. Yeah. But that's how my check. The Browns seven and eight, and the rounds is of what eleven and four. Yeah. And, and um, and they say Baker plays better without OBJ, and they seven and eight. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I feel like I feel like um, I feel like OBJ would have more stats if they were um. I think the Rams are purposely like um force feeding Cooper Cup because they're trying to get on two thousand yards. So that's why I feel like he his stats not. I feel like OBJ stats can be like higher than it is now, but because they force feeding Cooper Cup on purpose, it, it, that's why it's looking you know just good. It'll be like probably elite stats if they weren't doing that. But yeah, OBJ never left, man. He's still a beast. There's. So I agree with y'all, bro. Uh-huh. OBJ never left. Y'all be had a trash ass QB, Baker Mayfield. He had another trash ass QB. So I'll be Eli Manny, but ooh, you you were trash during yeah, those days. Eli, <laughs> Eli, the goddamn Eli, Eli, goddamn Tom Brady bitch, man. I mean, like Tom Brady's Eli, like like you know what I mean, bro. I, I feel you. I feel you. Eli, <laughs> Tom Brady's bitch. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have to get out. <laughs> <laughs> That damn cough fucked me up, bro. <laughs> like my boy choking. <laughs> go ahead, bro. go ahead. But yeah, he he never had like a get QB. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with Frank. It's like a whole highlight fan, but Baker Mayfield is missing OBJ. I say, yeah, he never left. I made y'all to be on a good team to um, spread his reins and fly. No, right. not really, but you know. What about, like, you went lost? Nah, I ain't go yet, uh, bro. You go ahead. But, um, uh, OBJ never left because OBJ, um, it's a, like, like Frank and you just said, there's a whole 10 minute video on YouTube. You guys can go watch it right now. OBJ got open on every single route that he ran since he came back from injury. 
And Baker just haven't hit him. Baker haven't got on the ball. Baker just, you know, yeah. just sorry as fuck. <laughs> he, he, he's sorry as fuck, bro. I, I, come on. I, I feel like Cleveland would have a much, much better record if you gave OBJ the ball. The ball. OBJ always been OBJ. But when you got a sorry ass quarterback like Baker that can't get him the fucking ball, then you go hear these nonsense like, oh, OBJ might be done. Oh, OBJ, this and that. Or, you know, he's not consistent. OBJ is just complaining. No. And you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I just had to talk to my dad. But yeah. my dad think the reason why he, he was out of Cleveland because he complained about not getting the ball. And I just, I, I was talking to him like, you have not seen no reports about them saying OBJ been complaining about not getting the run. No reports. He just came out there. He went to practice. He practiced like he usually do and come out there and get ready to play football to where he just literally just blocking for his life and just running, just running routes just to run routes so everybody else get the ball. So what happened when he got to L.A.? His first four games or his first, like, I think it was his first four games in L.A., this man scored four touchdowns in his first four games in LA. First four. Yeah. Not saying he went up. I, don't, I think he went over 100 yards yet, but still, though, to prove a point over Baker, Matthew Stafford gets the ball. Yeah, he scores fees like Peter Cooper, but he gets his guys involved. Mm-hmm. He, get, he gets him involved. He got OBJ involved. He gets Tyler Higby involved. Before Robert Woods was injured, Robert Woods was always involved. Like, everybody gets involved. Yeah, Cooper Cup might finish with 15 catches, over 150 yards receiving, and two touchdowns. But, hey, everybody still eats. That boy so, OBJ never, me. ever left, bro. He never left. He just was playing for a sorry-ass quarterback. Facts. Oh, my gosh. Imagine Robert Woods coming back next year. Cup, Woods, and OBJ. Oh, damn. That shit going to be ridiculous, bro. Hey, but I'm gonna speak that to his senses, bro. Chill out. What you mean? It's already gonna happen. Chill out. Everybody bro. under contract. Chill out, bro. That shit gonna be death. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, bro. If we need to play them two games, you I don't. That, like, that's not gonna happen. It's gonna happen regardless. Chill out, bro. Someone might get injured again, bro. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, most like you were saying, like um. Baker was um they said nothing in Cleveland. He was more quiet in Cleveland than he was in New York. You feel me? You feel me? And even before uh, OBJ got to Cleveland, bro, in New York, bro, he was still he was still getting over thousand yards. This and that. He, yeah. like, Eli was just sorry. Like Eli was hitting his hitting his uh peak to where he was just like he wasn't no good anymore. Eli wasn't Eli anymore. But like yeah. e- like even before Eli started declining. That man OBJ was still getting a thousand yards and he was still getting the ball. Still was. He was still eating. He just get the clearing. He already had one year of a thousand yards. And ever since they uh ever since then he just haven't like been getting the ball because Baker's just sorry as fuck. And I feel like I ain't gonna cap. This is this is forever Cleveland's downfall, bro. No matter what. If you play quarterback in Cleveland, your ass is automatically sorry as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's the forever downfall. That's that's the Browns forever downfall, bro. Yes, Baker took him to the playoffs last year, but what are they doing right now? They back to being sorry as fuck. The same old Browns we know him for being. Mm-hmm. They had a chance to, and he just couldn't. He couldn't deliver. Exactly. This is this is this was Baker' opportunity to show the world why he is picked number one overall. And that's to a check out the back to back playoffs and that has not been done in Cleveland history in a while. That shit with Baker, everything happened so fast. <laughs> it's like as soon as he go to Oklahoma, you know what I'm saying? He finally gets some decent receivers around him and shit. And then after that, um, you know, he get them to the uh the Rose Bowl. And then he lose the role well choke in the Rose Bowl, actually. Then after that, you know, he well, no no he won the Heisman before that, right? Heisman's usually before that, so he won the Heisman first as a walk on to Oklahoma, then go to you know Rose Bowl, almost beat Georgia. You know what I'm saying? The man had momentum going into the NFL draft, so it was like, why not? You feel me? Pick Baker. 
Exactly. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, hold on. Hey, they, they, hold on. How y'all feeling? I mean, Frank, have you seen him play in the college? But how I've been feeling about Baker since i seen him. It's always been Baker Mayfield. always been fuck him. always been fuck him. <laughs> he, I lost all respect when he planted that flag on our field. I never liked him since. Never. Dude, never, never liked same him boat. since. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked him since. It's always been fuck him. I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. I was fuck so him. happy with Nick Boso planting that flag on him when we played yeah, him. Yeah, when they beat their ass that one year. Yep. My boy, plant that yeah, flag. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I was so happy that day, bro. I was like, that's what your bitch ass did, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Take that plant, bitch. How about that? Take that flag on your ass, nigga. Did he, did he go to that game? Did he come out? That was that was Nick Bosa's breakout game, too, wasn't it? Bro, that was his rookie year, bro. Yeah, that was his rookie year, and that was his breakout game. Yeah, every game looked like his breakout game. Baker, like, what, two times? Oops. <laughs> hey. Every game both still played that season with a breakout game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he he got yeah. He took Baker ass up that game, bro. Yeah. But she had a long career though on Johnny Manziel, bro. For real, I I dead ass was just like he just the uh, the nigga that they thought Johnny Manziel was gonna be. Yeah, I think I mean that said he was the sober version of him. <laughs> yeah, that nigga was doing drugs and shit. Oh yeah. He was he was on Coke all day. Yeah. That boy Johnny Manziel got too used to partying, man. Bro, it, it was like he was never on the field, dog. I I don't remember this nigga playing. Johnny. Like he could say he went to the NFL, but I don't know. He, I don't know if he could say he played. Oh, I mean, I mean, he can say he played, but I mean, at the same time, it's been more so. You Hold you on. play party, and you you pretty much party. Oh, so you pull like this. I remember the off field stuff more than the on field stuff. Exactly, I remember more off field situation than him being on the field. I don't remember no accomplishments he had. In uniform playing in the NFL, he only played for one team, and that was the Cleveland Browns. And he was literally one and done. No, no other NFL team wanted to even give him a chance. Nobody got tired of his off the field issues, but him going out party, drinking like crazy, always deal with the police and stuff like that. Like, I, I, I feel like personally, I feel like Johnny Manziel just let the fame got to him too early, and that, and that all started with college, his freshman year. That's that was really year. That sophomore year, he did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that shit got to his head because what he was like the first freshman to win Hosman or something. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. The only freshman. Yeah. So it yeah. was like shit like that got to his head. He thought he was gonna try to do the same flashy dumb shit in the NFL. He wanted to play uh, eight games in the NFL. Eight games. Yeah. Wow. No, I remember. We can't remember nothing. <laughs> He was only two <laughs> hit for a that's season. That's why he's trying to fix his football career now, because he know what he did when he was younger. You can't take back what you did in the past, bro. It was in the past. You can't fix it. that shit. You can't fix it. You had an opportunity to do what you had to do when the opportunity was present. What? What this motherfucker in the uh, fan selection league? Yeah, he still like, is. Yeah, he's still playing that shit. Are you still doing that? Yeah. Oh that my shit. god, I thought it was one season. <laughs> right, they really bought like, bro. He's still doing that, bit. That's crazy, son. Yeah, bro. Johnny Johnny Manziel career is <clears throat> over, over, bro. You he need to take his back. ass to Canada. I think he did go to um, Canada. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He's just gonna make the team. No, he did. Oh yeah, ter- the Alouette. Yeah, he did he terrible. For the Alouette. Yeah, he did bad. Yeah, I seen the game on like nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga did terrible, bro. <laughs> yeah, he done. But I think he better, like, um, you know, um, um, mental, mentally wise, cause like, I think, I think if he had his mentality that he has now, like, in this, on this first year, he probably got back. I still back up in the NFL to this day. Yeah, discipline, man. Yeah, discipline. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Yeah, that that's, shit all, that's literally there, all it's about, bro. It's just about being disciplined. This is what coaches been preaching to us all our life, and even our parents and adults. Yeah, around. 
Like discipline, bro. I don't know you go like be successful later if you have discipline. Discipline goes a long way. Shit, man. Okay. Next but, time. Hey, we're gonna go ahead and get into predicting the AFC North champions, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the standings. Go ahead and put the standings and we finna go ahead. So right as of right now, in the fourth spot, we got the Browns at seven and eight, the Steelers seven to seven one, Ravens eight and seven, and the Bengals at nine and six. We're gonna go ahead and start with the biggest Steelers fan in the world. So who do you think <laughs> we need to put on top of the MC North as tight as it is? Because it's still anybody in the division. Kill the man yeah. Bengals. <laughs> oh, we can, we can, we can, we can pull that off, dog. Like that's that's no, no lie. We can pull that off. <laughs> Didn't catch um, on to that. <laughs> for real, what we, what we got like two games left, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Like we can, we can take that, bro. Like okay, so we got to play, you know, the Browns next week on Monday, and then we got the Ravens right after. We can go two and zero. Oh. We can go two and zero oh and 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 take the uh the division. Just like that. Wait, hold on. Who needs to lose though for y'all to win? You know? I think the, I think the Bengals got to lose, don't they? Yeah, Bengals got to lose out. Okay, they yeah. got to lose out. That's right. But the Bengals top three right now. But the but the Bengals could lose too. They can go on too, bro. While we go two and zero, oh. that that shit can happen. It just depends on who on the schedule though. Let me see. The Bengals still got to play the Browns. Okay, the I'm Browns. gonna beat the Browns. I mean, you know, it's the Browns, bro. They, they... I don't think. They I mean, the Browns. The Browns, the Browns beat them, though. Oh, and they play the Chiefs. Yeah, so they we already saying they losing to the Chiefs though. Okay. Yeah, like, they they, could, they can they can lose out. Yeah, you right. Yeah, they could lose out. So, like I said, we can go two and zero. They can go zero and two. No cap. Damn, they play the Chiefs. Oh, yeah. interesting. I don't know. I, I feel. I feel like the Bengals probably still might win. They might go ten to seven or something. It all depends on the game. If it's in if it's in Arrowhead, I doubt it. But in the day, right? No, I see them being the Browns. It's like bit being like mentally stable right now, bro. Uh, you got nothing to do with me. Play the damn game. That's what I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> that nigga can have me in his corner. That nigga. We ain't talking about retirement. <laughs> that nigga settled the bench yesterday, looking sad. <laughs> bro, I was stuck, man. I'm like, bro, like, is this the same quarterback that won us two championships? Nah. That bit sat down. Start looking sad, man. Bro, you been doing that ever since last year playoffs. Yeah. That, <laughs> that bit. Yeah, one of the looks on his face, like, goddamn, bro. Bro, you you remember when we lost to the fucking uh the Jags, bro? I was sick. That used to be the shit oh, back when in the they day. had that that good defense. That weak ass run they pulled, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know how y'all about that. Oh wait, it's just terrible, bro. Just seeing like used to be good ass QBs losing like that, bro. That just That's terrible. how you know you got hang up. Yeah. What's up with Tom Brady? How the fuck does he just stay like this? That's crazy. Man, that nigga no, eat so... straight carrots and broccoli and go to like top teams for offense, man. Yeah, fuck the quarterback. <laughs> uh, I heard people say he doing some dart stuff. Nah, <laughs> nigga, he's that Victoria's Secret model. Nigga sacrificing chickens and shit, man. That sh- nah, that bitch got him right. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. She trying to keep her figure. She keeping him up. That bitch is L. That he just got to make. This off, this off topic, but I never, I never found Giselle attractive. She look ugly. He's not attractive, nigga. She ain't meant for us. Hell no, I'm straight. She meant for us. Yeah, Victoria can keep that secret. I'm good. Fuck that shit, bro. But yeah, anyway, uh, Steelers for my pick, man. I'm telling you, we got this. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Bengals. And what, theirs? Oh, man. Uh, I'm gonna go with them. I know. I had to go with Madman Joe, bro. 
Mm -hmm. Nico with Bengals. Ooh. How's playing out right now? What, the Ravens play what, Steelers last week? And the Bengals, Browns play last week? Uh, it's really going to cut down to that last week. And even if Cincinnati lose this game, they still got nine wins. So, Hold on. Uh, I don't know nothing about this Lamar Jackson situation. Let me look this up. That's what I'm saying. I mean, if Lamar come back this week, I can see the Ravens taking this division. Wait, hold up, though, hold up. Hey, what y'all did with going on? Um, got competitors in the division. What y'all did with on um, Trace Claypool, bro? Like, but he's still there. He's uh, just fucking blind. I did. I thought y'all wouldn't do it ass, no. You Lock know what I think about some niggas, though? Let me tell you about this Claypool shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I know what you're going to talk about. Like, it, it irritates me a lot because he, he celebrates at time when he don't need to. You feel what I'm saying? Or he draws attention to himself when he don't need to. You feel me? You yeah. a number two receiver, bro. Just be a number two. And what happened to Juju? We don't know what's up with Juju. I know he injured. But... Come on, man! Like y'all, y'all, y'all look exposed. Y'all look trash. No, I was just saying it, feel me? I thought one of y'all had took that dude back to the locker room and like threw hands with him. What a stunt he pulled! Yeah, I thought y'all drunk Juju. I, I haven't heard about him all season. I didn't know he was hurt. That nigga Trey Claypool. <laughs> that nigga celebrated, man. <laughs> I know well, somebody. What? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hold on. What? I know somebody put hands on him, bro. You can't tell me. Somebody put hands on uh, him. Wait, wait, what's my boy name? Hayward? <laughs> For like Big Ben. <laughs> then they had took out the shoulder pads. Took you from the cast these hands, nigga. You know, not, not going to be no AB right here. <laughs> I don't Big Ben just be looking at that wide receiver room and just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Y'all are talented, but like, come on. Y'all get right. Y'all yeah, for me to call back Antonio. They had Antonio. no reason to get rid of AB. Yeah, I th yeah. Do you feel like that was Big Ben fault or AB fault? Shit, who knows, man? Nah, like that was definitely it was AB fault, but they still could have like disciplined my boy, you know? Like, like this. They they said something about like um Big Ben called him out on the radio, it like, and that's what started it. it like two sides yeah, every story, spiral. bro. Because first of me, I don't know, bro. It was I mommy. Mean, it was mommy on like the um To and Donovan Bentnab type of shit, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, two sides to their stories, bro. Like, I said, damn, bro. I just don't know. It'd be like that. But, yeah. Uh, uh, angle chat, though. Because nobody know the update on, on Lamar's injury. So, I'm going to have to go with that madman, Joe. He going right. to win the AFC North. They they got it. And that'd be off top of everything. But, hey. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Everybody got to start putting some respect on Jalen Ramsey's name, man. Mm. Uh, uh, everybody going to make these start up predictions. Uh, he, held, he held Justin Jefferson like when, he, when lined up with him. Just on the ball <clears throat> three times for like 20 yards. Even though oh, he man. went over 100 yards yesterday. When he lined up with Ramsey, he only had 20-something yards. No touchdowns. Off the six targets. Put like this. Ramsey already got all respect, bro. Yeah, he, yeah, he already got it. Yeah, okay, look, yeah, ready to talk about the top wide receivers and the top cornerbacks. You always see Jalen Ramsey name come up. Oh, Jalen Ramsey versus Mike Evans. Jalen versus D Hop. Jalen versus Devontae Adams. You only see his name come up when it comes to cornerbacks, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't hear about, like, you don't hear about Gilmore no more. You don't hear about. Jair, Jair Alexander, he been injured most of the season, so I mean, like that's why you didn't hear too much about him. Well, I mean, that's that's the, that's just that I, I'm a I'm gonna be a Packers fan. If that be the honest honest excuse why um you didn't hear too much about Jair, but I right, but what I'm saying is like a lot of people it's not we we us for we we honor what what Jalen does. That's what he's supposed to do. Week in week out, we go get some top receivers, man. He's supposed to lock them up. They shouldn't be touch. They shouldn't be touching forty on you. They shouldn't be touching forty yards on you. That's how locked up he is. No touchdowns given. I play the entire season. The only might have gave up one touchdown. That was there to Devontae, I think. And if that was not lined up on him, then he ain't gave up no touchdowns at all. And 
I, I, I be feeling like people kind of disrespect Ramsey because they think, like, yeah, he cocky. The way he plays is cocky, and, you know, he got his own swag. But, I mean, like, that's what the game of football is about. But the You're supposed to be it, like that. He back it up. Like. He back it. Exactly. He back, he back up. up his top, bro. When you think of a cornerback this day and day, you think of Jalen Ramsey, bro. Yeah. Because a lot of these corners, bro, they get, they get out what they do, but they more, they more zone corners. Jalen Ramsey is a. Lock up, right? If he plays zone or man, bro, this man was he's locked up, bro. Like his his record, like bro, his 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 IQ is like off the charts at corner. That's why like a lot of teams be so scared and hesitant to throw his way because this man, like bro, it's being frank with bro. This he should have been a ninety nine on every single matter ever since he came into the league because there's not he has not bro. Only one time yeah. in his career, he only gave up 100 yards, and that was to D-Hop. Ever since, nobody touched no more than 45 yards <clears throat> on his name. Come on, man. Put like this, man. He like the Deion Sanders to us. You feel me? Yeah, he's our Deion Sanders yeah. in our generation. He all Deion he's Sanders. Deion. I thought Darrell Reeves was our uh, Deion Sanders or our generation. I mean, he was, but I mean, like, when you – like, no, I can't take credit for Darrell. Darrell was a lock up, too. Yeah, he was. But as of right now, since Darrell had the lead and been jailing, like, for so far, like, I'm going to put in this perspective, right? Yeah, yeah, our generation, us coming up, yeah, Darrell Rivas is. So for the newer generation. Oh, Jaylen, okay. Yeah, we're, I'm yeah. going to put in that I'm gonna put in that perspective and make it make yeah. a, more look sense. This, this, this new generation, they got Jalen Ramsey. We had Darrell Rivas. So, but the only reason I brought up Jalen because I was just watching his um page and, and he's still getting disrespected. Even and and people kind of trying to say Justin went over a hundred on his name when he didn't. And I literally watched the one on one yesterday, and Justin was literally locked up. But right, he ran. Ramsey was on all that. So. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Some of them plays he was he was holding my boy. <laughs> yeah, I ain't okay. Yeah, there was some, I was watching too. There was some plays he was holding. Oh my dog Justin. I wanted Justin to break out against against Ramsey. I wanted him too so bad. But I know you're going against Jalen, bro. Jalen is not gonna let you do what you want to do. Exactly. He's not. You're gonna you you're gonna have to you you're gonna have to go toe for toe against Ramsey. You're gonna have to. But we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and get into our week 17 prediction, man. Um we're gonna go ahead and get started with the first one. All right, all right, um, yeah, it's no Thursday night game this week. Uh, I'm just gonna say our winning percentage just real quick. Go ahead. Uh, Los, you got a 64 <laughs> winning percentage. Darius got a 62. I got like a 50, and uh, Zo got 79 percentage. Oh shit! But that's Zoe? that's with two oh, weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga did fuck your mouth. What the hell? <laughs> they got up the hey, I, I had to do it like that cause the whole thing was messed up or whatever. <laughs> Y'all want to hear the record? It's I got a right. record. Right. You hear no, no, no. no, you we good. Got, we got next season anyway. Zoe, Zoe just started doing prediction with us. So yeah. we got next season anyway. Yeah. Oh. Well, efficient though. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and get started with the first Sunday game at one o'clock. We're going to go ahead and get started with our one o'clock game. So we got the Bucks versus the Jets. Zo? Bucks. Frank? Bucks. Darius? Bucks. Y'all know who I got. Tampa Bay. <clears throat> the backups are going to be right. in the third quarter. Mm-hmm. It's going to be over. It's going to be over by the second. By towards the end of the second quarter, the game will be over. Jets yeah. just to get their ass rotated. Yeah. All right. Next game, we got the Eagles football team. I got, I got the Eagles. There's, I got the football team. <laughs> right, Eagles. So that football team look a little dysfunctional, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go ahead. And, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say Eagles. Hey, Darius. <laughs> You know you don't have to go for the football team every time, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> he needs somebody supporting though. <laughs> they're, they're trying to prove a point, man, that they're going to win this week. 
I know it'd be All hurting. Right. <laughs> we got we got we got Rams and the Ravens. Frank. Uh Rams. Dez. Rams. Zo. Rams. I got the Rams. Alright. We got the Dolphins and the Titans. Dez. Uh, I go with the Dolphins. Yeah, I'm gonna go Dolphins too. Frank. Uh, Titans. Zo. I'm gonna go Titans. All right. Damn. We got uh, Jaguars and the Patriots. Ah, uh, go ahead. This is the first time you went against on um, two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait. What? I just thought about it. He going against this Alabama Khalid, man. Yeah, man. I had what? to, bro. The Titans are nice, bro. They is. I think they're a better team with Derrick Henry. Yeah, they are. Another yeah. Bama boy. He might be bad for the playoffs. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he might be. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. This man is still a top five rusher. <laughs> he haven't played in <laughs> two months. <laughs> That nigga would have had like 2,000, bitch. How much you get that, bitch? What? He already at me at 2,000. Bro, you know what's crazy? They say J.J. Watt might come back too. Mm. That That's not normal, what his um injury that he had. Nah, nah, he should. Yeah, but I mean like, he, he, he always he always get injured. Yeah, he should be done for the season, bro. Nah, they said he was trying to. He said he was trying to come back. Double for the comeback and mess on up. <laughs> That'd be crazy. You get hurt again. <laughs> Yo, we go here, Los. Yeah. All right, we got the Jaguars, Patriots. I got the Patriots. There's um Patriots. Frank. Patriots. Zo. Patriots. All right, we got the Raiders, Colts. Zo. Colts. I got the Colts. Frank. Uh, Colts. Darius. Um, Colts. All right. We got the Chiefs. Bengals. Frank. Chiefs. Darius. Uh, I'm going with the Chiefs. Zo. Uh, I'm the Chiefs' biggest fan this weekend, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Kansas City. All right, and hey, we got the best game of the week, man. We got four and eleven versus five and ten, bro. <laughs> best game of the week. We got Giants versus the Bears. There's. I'm going with Chicago, bro. So, uh, I need my boy Phil to stuff up, man. Is he out or is he back? Oh, he out. I think. He... Yeah, I think he definitely. I seen thought. Him. I thought he was yeah. back. Oh, the boy Nick froze. Next Everybody hurt, bro. Who they playing? The Giants? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. All right. I'm going to just go with the Giants. Oh, Frank? I'm going to go with the Bears. Yeah, I don't I think neither team got their strong quarterback. But you, you can be slip on net, though, bro. Yeah, that's why I said I got Chicago. Yeah, that's why I said Bears. Hey, Daniel Jones, bro, he, he, he's full my point that I've been trying to tell Frank for the longest. <laughs> that man is a bust. <laughs> uh, give him one more year. We're going to see. What that Frank, you say that every year. I'm weak. What you mean I say that every year? This is the first year I said it. <laughs> no, this is the first that year I said too. it. This is the first year I said anything. Damn. Hey, he said that last year. Yo, pretty sure he did, bro. <laughs> I didn't say that last year. Frank, I'm talking about that last year, bro. I'm hey. pretty sure you did. <laughs> Frank, I know you said that last year, bro. I yeah, know you did, boy. bro. I know you did. Nah. Because last year, they went 4 and 12. Frank's like, yeah, get him next year. They'll be in the playoffs. And when we first started. No, coming off that season, I think he'll be good. That's why you're thinking like that. Uh. uh that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, but the biggest Dan Jones fan. Try to tell you. <laughs> go ahead. All right. We're going to go ahead. Falcons, Bills. Uh, Darius. Uh, Buffalo. Uh, Zoe. Who is it? Bills and who? Falcons. 
Oh, Bills. De oh, I already said Dave. Uh, Frank? Bills. I got Buffalo. All right. We got the Texans versus the San Francisco 49ers. We're going to go ahead and go with our biggest 49ers fan. The best one, number one ranked overall, come out of Tampa, Florida. He went to Middleton High School, graduated 2018. This guy. Darius. <laughs> this nigga. Yo, why you don't <laughs> get the whole like information? I need an introduction. Yeah, go with music. What? Where the music at next time, bro? Next time, the prediction for the 49ers. We need the music, goddammit. Man, I go with the 49ers. Oh, yeah, drum roll. For my boy Trey Lance from the ball out. Yeah. San Fran, okay. I got San Fran. Frank. Damn, I forgot who it was. Who it was again? San Fran versus the Texans. Yeah, 49ers. So? Texans. <laughs> Texans. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. I said, I said how, how, how come my nigga get an NBA introduction though? <laughs> oh, no. You're coming out soon. That's hilarious. Yeah, you're still that yeah, you're still that that NBA introduction. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It's coming out soon, dog. It's coming out soon because y'all got a Monday night game. Sure. It's coming out soon. We 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 finna get to it. Mm -hmm. Hey, but no, nah, for real, I got a Texans, bro. This <laughs> Hey, so they, they, they can put us in. They, they, they've been all sudden people this year. Yeah, they have. They expect, let's not forget they did beat the Tennessee Titans. And the Chargers. And the Chargers. Let's not forget that. And that boy Trey knew. He knew me, boy. That boy David, man, stop playing with nah. that boy David Bills, man. <laughs> Come on, Trey. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, the Broncos Chargers. So? Uh, I got the Chargers bouncing back. Yeah, I, I got LA bouncing back too. Frank? Yeah, it's Chargers. Uh, Darius? Uh, LA. Because Teddy not playing. Yeah, if Teddy was playing, I probably would pick the Broncos. Same. All right. We got the uh, Carolina Panthers versus the. I fucking hate this team. The Anks. So we got the Panthers versus the Anks. Uh, Darius? Yeah, no way. Give my boy Cam a chance. What? Sam Donna came back. Yep. Yeah. Oh shit! What? Well, Cam ain't getting no chance. Um, I'll get with the Panthers. Frank. Uh, Saints. Zoe. Ah, uh, Saints, man. I'm going Carolina. But <laughs> Taysom Hill is hurt. I don't know who's starting for the Saints this week, but I'm still picking them. <laughs> that boy, uh, uh, Alvin, that boy, Alvin. Out, yeah. <laughs> All right. But, all right, we got the Lions, Seahawks. Zo? Seahawks. Frank? Uh, uh Seahawks, yeah. Dares? Uh, you know how they go with the... Detroit Lions, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna turn that to wait two eleven. What the hell they is? Two, two ten and one, right? Two ten one. No, they two twelve and one. Two twelve and one. We're gonna turn that two twelve and one to three twelve and one. <laughs> they gonna do it. <laughs> they would go out there and destroy. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. If they go two thirteen and one, I got Seattle. Seattle finna be six and ten. Damn, that's bro, that's still my mind blowing. Russell Wilson first ever losing season, bro. That that that's still mind blowing. That's tough to me. Yeah, I I really feel bad for Russell, but I hope he get out of Seattle. But oh, we got the Cardinals versus the Cowboys. Oh yeah. Mm. Um. The way Arizona been playing versus how Dallas defense been playing, I got Dallas. Um, there's. Oh, I got. We're going with the Cardinals just for like playoff reasons. You feel me? 
Uh, 49ers, huh? Yeah. Hopefully we won't yeah. play the Bucks. <laughs> so? Oh, that's tough. Um, mm. Let me go Cardinals by field goal. Right? Yeah, like Derry said, I'm going Cardinals for playoff reasons. Because Rams, Rams making, because we lost to the Rams, we got 4C, and I don't like that. We got the fourth seed? Yeah. I really want to change, but I mean, like, I know the Cowboys are better than the Cardinals, so that's why I'm going down. Uh, fuck. Damn, I hate Arizona being at 10 and 5, but I wish some sorry ass bitches were 12 and 3 right now. But, uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and go Minnesota versus Green Bay. Uh, you already know me. Yes, I'm a Tampa Bay fan, and, and I'm also a Green Bay fan. I weigh at, you know, you know, uh, 1,000 pounds of cheese. So, you know who I'm going with, that green and gold. That's how we roll it. I don't care about that purple and gold. We're going to go ahead and get the dub this Sunday night. Green Bay. Uh, so? Minnesota Vikings. No, I'm playing. Um, I got... <laughs> I got the Packers, man. That bad man will come through. Yeah, you can't go against that bad man, bro. That's a bad motherfucker, bro. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, man. Packers all day. Uh, Frank. Did they lose to the Packers? I'm at the Vikings earlier this year. Yeah, we did. We lost mm-hmm. at Minnesota. I'm not okay. I'm, I'm gonna say Vikings because I need the Vikings to win so we can be first seed. Because mm. I know they're not. Because I know they're not losing to the Lions, so I, I'm gonna say Vikings. Mm. All right. Uh, Darius? Um, go with the Packers. All right. Last but not least, got the Browns versus Steelers, man. We're finna go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Finna go with the one that spoke the most truth with only the truth. You know what I'm saying? He re- <laughs> rocking that black and gold no matter where he goes. He also a road tie, bro, but it's okay. They, this is probably the easiest. Easiest playoff position group that he can even ask for it because he know he's gonna get the chip. And you know, you know, you know, he speak like an old man, but he's here though. <laughs> <laughs> he's here. My boy Zoe, man, who you got this? 